After giving the blast tube project considerable thought, I decided to put that part of the project on the back burner and work on another element of the rocket, the ejection piston. This is the parachute ejection timer and piston assembly. It has a connection on the bottom for remote activation, an arming connection to be connected on the pad, a 20 second time delay relay, a PVC piston with a 3 inch stroke, and a connection for the parachute. The ejection piston worked perfectly. Now the only question is, how much force can the piston exert? In order to measure the force of the piston, I'm going to remove the forward bulkhead, put a quarter inch hole in a quart size bucket, and bolt it onto the piston. These half bricks weigh two and a half pounds each. I'm going to put two of them in the bucket to see if the piston can overcome a five pound force. I didn't expect the piston to overcome the five pounds of weight in the bucket. Not only did it do it, but it held it up in the extended position, the internal o-ring sealing the gas inside the pistons perfectly. It really is amazing considering that there was only a quarter teaspoon, or about one gram, of potassium nitrate sugar mixture used to actuate the piston. I just finished putting together another piston. The PVC section of the ejection piston assembly needs to be replaced after every use. But just like the engine, it's easy to make and really cheap. Once it's completed, you just screw it onto the timer and plug it in. Simple. One benefit of the ejection piston over an ejection charge is that all the hot gases remain in the piston, so there's no need to protect the parachute and the parachute rigging with fireproof materials. Okay, that's about as many bricks as I can fit in the bucket, and it comes out to 10.6 pounds. So let's go see if the piston can lift it. That was a freaking amazing experiment. Papa, oh. give me back my baby! Dang, so angry. Seriously, 10.6 pounds on one gram of potassium nitrate and sugar? I wonder where the limit is. Well, maybe some other time. For now, the piston experiments were a huge success, and I have no doubt in their ability to push out the parachute. So I guess it's back to the blast tube. <laughs>